this is Brad Bear with Copper Creek Cuts. I thought a quick video walkthrough would be an easy way to get on the same page as far as what you guys are looking for. So I'll go run through some of the tasks so you can give your opinion on them. The beds aren't what I would consider terrible. Maybe you want to wait a little closer to spring to redo them. We'll probably just lightly shape all this stuff to give it a crisp edge. And then that guy and this guy, like you said, will just there's a couple of pieces that are a little close to the wall. We'll, you know, get those off of it. Maybe trim a little bit there again, just to get it off the wall. So these limbs here are definitely something we can handle. What we'll do, this guy right here, we'll take the whole thing back to the tree. So that's that one branch. Uh, we can clean these ones up if you want, but they aren't over the house. So I don't know if that's a priority for you. Here's another shot of this oak tree cleaning up some of these lower scraggly ones to make it look a little nicer something we can do too just depends on you know how you want it to look this branch here from the bottom up we would clean up and then you'd still have a couple that were overhanging but it would be much higher up and so i'm not sure if this one you need taken down that one's kind of over the house a little bit maybe like that and then there's a couple more above this one that again will still be over the house but they're much higher up so all the pine straw pine cones the debris here you can see we've got quite a bit come in and clean all this up get this back down to grass all along here as well basically everywhere the pine needles have been dumping this whole time if we're very worried about bugs and critters and you know we wanted this as nice as possible i can include a haul away for this it wouldn't exactly be the cheapest thing since it's brick, but you know, we, we definitely can do it and get rid of all the little holes, you know, all the little networks for stuff to, to hide in there. It will most likely look bad and you know, just a bare dirt spot when it's done. So keep that in mind, but I can also do that for you. This is the irrigation system. You can see the valves here. If there's a lot of issues that may require digging this out to replace these, that can be kind of time consuming. There's also standing water right there, which I'm not sure why there is. There's an irrigation leak there as well. I don't know if you can see it puddling up. So at some point the irrigation will need to be taken care of as well. So right next to the front door here, we've got one of these guys broken. Brad Bear, Copper Creek Cuts, just doing a final walkthrough with you. Those uh, images I emailed you will give you better before and afters than, than this video will. Coming around this oak tree, we got the lowest limbs. You probably got another good three or four years before you have to worry about any growth there. We took those two pine limbs. There was one coming over the house here. On that back tree, there was another coming over this way. So here's the biggest change we got ton of pine straw pine needles i think i just found a kung fu panda i'll leave that for free as a bonus thank you for the job <laughs> i actually did see a snake slithering around here one of the days i was working but we got all this obviously it looks rough because it's just basically compost and dirt at this point but all the pine straw is gone there's no piles of anything and then here's the brick pile i'm coming back with the trash can we're going to get all this stuff out i'm not leaving that no space for snakes or anything like that like we said it is just going to be a bare dirt spot for a while anyways thanks again